Hi, in this movie we're going to take a look at the Hypershade user interface. We'll also take a look at how we can toggle the create bar on and off and some other buttons in the Hypershade that allow us to hide certain user interface elements. We'll take a look at the blend material and some common material attributes as well. So in my scene I have two teapots, a couple of lights and you can see that I have some nice shadows over here. The Hypershade can be accessed from Window, Rendering, Editors, Hypershade. I have it already open over here as I'm using a saved layout in Maya. So I have my Hypershade on top, I have my render view, and also I have my camera over here. This is the create area for the Hypershade. This is the materials and textures area, and this is my work area where I pretty much do all my node connections. The create area over here can be turned on and off by simply clicking on this button. So that way we get some more screen space. So that's a nice toggle button over there. The second button over here will just show us the materials area. You can see that the bottom area is gone. The third one does exactly the opposite. It shows us just the bottom area, which is the work area. And the fourth button over here is showing us both. The reason everything is gray in Maya when you first start is because of this Lambert 1 material. I have a bunch of other materials over here. Let's click on the blend. A blend material is a very nice material when it comes to doing some metallic surfaces. I can simply middle mouse button drag and drop this blend on the teapot. And if it doesn't go, you can simply select the teapot and just right click on the material over here and say assign material to selection. And right now if I just click outside, you can see that the blend has been applied. I can also right click on this and go to rename and rename this to, let's say, teapot in this case. If I double click on the blend material over here, or if I simply hit Control A, it's going to open the attribute editor for me, where I see some material attributes. The first one is color. If I click on the swatch, it gives me a nice color wheel over here, and I can give this a nice color. Then we also have transparency, which pretty much plays with the transparency of the object. I also have something called incandescence, which makes the surface appear to glow, but it actually does not act as a light source. So if I just go here, you can see that it's giving me that glowy effect, and I can also render this at this point. And I can take down my transparency and also give it a different incandescence. And you can take this down if you want to. Then I also have something called uh, translucence, which gives the material the ability to transmit and diffuse light. We also have something called specular roll-off and reflectivity, which pretty much gives the surface the ability to reflect its surrounding. The specular color, you can choose any color for the specular highlights over here. So if I choose like green, let's say, and right now if I select the material again and if I go back, right here and take the incandescence down. You can see pretty much I see all these green highlights which we can render.